All right, YouTube, we made it. The fourth and final design for the 6th gen Camaro redesign series, that one being the Z28. <sighs> this one was a doozy. It took me a while to figure out how I wanted it to look, especially since the Z01 was such a good design, and I think probably the pinnacle of what I could make. And considering they never made a 6th generation Z28, I had to start completely from scratch without any references or anything of that sort. So hopefully it, it's up to par with the previous videos, um, but at the end of the day, that's what you all are here to think about. So comment what you all think of the design, like and subscribe, of course, to keep up with stuff. Next, I'm planning on making the Mustang, and I'm thinking S550 um, would be a good one to compare with this. Without further ado, let's get into it. So right off the bat, this is the front end of the Z28. Um, first off, there's a lot to unpack here. Starting from the top, I designed this Ferrari 812 style hood. I mean, if you know anything about the 812s, they have like this groove in for air to pass through under the windshield and it was carbon fiber and I just really liked the way it looked. So I implemented that into the front end design and obviously the rear. Um, we'll get to that when we do. But the hood is completely changed from everything else I've done in the past. Um, the Z ZL1 that I did, um, that was left stock. So this one completely left reality when it comes to um, what GM actually produced. Next we have the top grille, which I obviously extended from the previous designs. I wanted it to have something different going on. And since we're emphasizing more bottom grille activity going on with the air getting sucked in and such, I, I figured I would have to change something to make the Z28 different. So I went ahead and I put the Z28 badge closer to the bow tie, just like in the fifth generation Z28, and extended this weird bezel I added, kind of just to make it look more aggressive. It almost looks like a charger with the mailbox um, front grille, but instead of there being a slit, it's just longer. Obviously this is a later model 6th gen, um, so I did implement the 19 and up taillights. Uh, along with um, a wide body, which I planned on doing. Um, since this is the track version, we're gonna need um, thicker tires in the front, so that's what I decided to opt for. With that being said, there is a lot more going on with the lower grille. I made the center grille larger, I made the side vents and ducts huge, and if you can see, there's little fins in the side vents to help with airflow going around the car, through the car, and cooling the brakes. Um, this was an inspiration from the BMW M series. I forget what years they designed it, but this is a photo of it. Uh, I thought it looked really cool, so I added it. The side splitters? I, w I guess I'd call them more like, they're not dive planes. I guess they are. They're less canard and more dive plane, but I implemented that into the front splitter to make it look more aggressive. Figured that looked pretty cool. All right, y'all, next is the side profile. I did, like I said, implement the A12 design, and I went ahead and made that seep to the side of the front fenders to give it more of that aggressive aero look. Um, this being a muscle car now turned pony sports car, it's having an identity crisis, but it still retains that track level performance, um, especially since the brake cooling is now combined with the engine cooling. Um, this heat extractor is one of a kind, to say the least, because I know the A12s don't have something like this far. This isn't extending as far down as the A12s are. Um, and I just think the way that it's engineered from how I thought of it, I figured it'd be a good way of just saying, hey, let's just have it all one piece so that there's not too much going on. It's not over-engineered. Uh, I just thought it looked cool, so I figured it'd look good on the track too, so. Um, also, rear side vent. Thought that looked pretty cool. Obviously, helps with brake cooling since it is a track car. That's what I planned for it to be oriented towards. This is definitely the most aggressive lead redesigned. Uh, obviously, this is a 28 This is big mama. So, you know, being the most aggressively redesigned thing I've done, um, there's going to be a lot of weird lines going in places where they aren't originally. But I think I did pretty good flowing it. Uh, let me know what y'all think. So. Last, of course, is the rear. It being a 19 and up model, I opted for the 19 and up taillights since the Z28 is going to be a late model year car. Obviously, not much has changed really. Z28 badge, um, 
the ducktail obviously is the only thing that was done differently compared to the Z01, the SS's. Um, it's a one LE inspired ducktail with my own take on it. Um, I gave it more of a fifth gen look. I figured I'd change it up a little bit. Um, it almost looks like a C7 ducktail with the way that in the center it goes down, just to offer more visibility to the driver when he wants to look behind him. Um, there's these support beams on each side of the ducktail, and it's bigger than what is offered on the actual 6th gen 1LE. So, thought it looked pretty cool. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this 6th gen series is over, so I'm going to start going over to the, uh, I think it's the 6th generation Mustang, the S550 platform, and then we can just bounce back and forth, 5th 5th, fifth gen Camaro, 5th gen Mustang, and go down from there, or we can do other cars. We can do Mopars, we can do German cars. Honestly, the sky's the limit, so let me know what you all think. Like and subscribe for future uploads, and if you guys have any ideas, inquiries, design cues that you want to let me know about, let me know about them. That's all I got for you guys today, so peace. Thank <laughs> you.